Rice farmers will have a few more options when deciding what varieties to plant next year. LSU Ag Center rice breeders released a second aromatic variety, Jasmine 2, which has a few differences from the original Jasmine. It's about four inches shorter, it's about four or five days earlier in maturity, both of which are, are good characteristics. Uh, but the primary characteristic, the primary reason this variety was released was because it does have better aroma than the original jasmine. Linscombe says the new variety won't replace the original, but will likely create another market for aromatic varieties. Linscombe and his team also released a new long grain clear field variety, CL152 which has improvements over the current popular long grain clear field variety, CL 151. The 152 is going to have better grain quality. It's not going to have uh, some of the chalk uh, that we sometimes see with the 151. It's going to have better lodging resistance. It's going to stand up better under envir uh, adverse environmental conditions. Also released was Kathy, a new medium grain variety. Even with improved varieties, rice farmers are having a tough time this year. Dry weather is making this year's rice crop an expensive one to grow. I've known some farmers, I've met some farmers who haven't shut down pumps for six or eight weeks straight, just running constantly. It's going to be a high, high diesel bill. Because of dry conditions, rice farmers in southwest Louisiana, who use surface water to irrigate, are finding high levels of salt in their water, which could damage their rice. Salt water migrates up from the marsh and goes past the intracoastal canal and comes on into the freshwater streams, normally freshwater streams, and these guys are picking it up and trying when they're trying to irrigate. LSU Ag Center researchers want to find out how salty water has affected fields in South Louisiana and are requesting that farmers sample their water when their fields are drained. With the LSU Ag Center, this is Toby Blanchard reporting.